Hello, Scorpio, Scorpio rising and Scorpio moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting July 31st, 2017. And a quick reminder for all y'all Scorpios out there, remember that the Tarot Home Study course is going to be getting a couple of fun little additions. I've decided every once in a while I'm going to start throwing up some extra little spreads, some extra little uh, fun goodies to play with and help you expand on your tarot knowledge and get more practice. So Sunday night, Monday morning, uh, why don't you check your drop boxes? I'm going to be throwing some stuff in there. And for those of you who uh, would like to get a copy of that, you can always go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. It's the same place you would go to get a session with me. So, what is going on this week when it comes to your astrology? Well, in the beginning of the week, we do have this very strange angle overnight, Sunday through Monday. We've got Venus currently in Gemini, your eighth house of shared resources, passive income, and intimacy. It's going to be forming a lovely sextile to Uranus currently in your sixth house of reputation, work, and your schedule, whilst always, not always, also, not always, just for the day, uh, whilst also forming a tense square to Chiron currently in your fifth house of love and romance and relationships with your kids. And a choice opportunity to actually take on some kind of work or some kind of uh, project that's always been a big goal or a big desire for you is going to be available, but it may be rubbing a partner or a child the wrong way. Now, we may have to actually find a way to see is it possible for us to do this in spite of this person's disapproval or perhaps this person's you know, incapability to understand. There will be some tension brought up, but you can actually do both. This whole week is about having your cake and eating it too, cleanly, and doing it the right way. Later on in the week, we do have Jupiter in your 12th house of uh, your past, your privacy, and your hidden zone, forming a tense square to Pluto, currently retrograde, in your third house of communications, pacts, and promises. And Scorpio, I want you to be mindful this week. There is a really, really good opportunity for you to actually get some kind of big opportunity off the ground um, when it comes to promoting a product or promoting a service. Um, that you are putting out there, or perhaps an artistic or creative or spiritual endeavor, but there may actually be a need to pay attention to who is using it, um, or who may be taking this information with them. Um, this is definitely a week where I would say it's okay to start, you know, pushing a you know bit of an ad campaign. It's okay to be going out there and reaching out to folks and trying to reconnect. But there may be something going on in the communications department with Pluto Retrograde where you want to pay attention to see if people are going to use this information well or take advantage of it. Um, as long as you're being judicious with the truth, or your truth, and making sure that you're holding people accountable, it should be okay. For your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the cat. Alright, for your spiritual advice, we have the card of the cat. And the cat's kind of an interesting card because it does talk about a need to pay attention to how can we actually be all right with finishing a job that we started. Um, now that might sound kind of strange coming from a cat, but cats are bound and determined animals, all right? You can't really train a cat. If a cat wants to do something, a cat's going to do it of its own free will, and there, you know, there, there it is. Now the thing about the cat is, in this situation, it does have to do with paying attention as well to making sure that you can take matters into your own hands and again finish the job that you start. When we think about, you know, actually taking matters into our own hands, it means making sure that we're not letting too much of public opinion or deferring to other people be the way we get our problems done this week. We may not be able to trust our future in other people's hands. We may not necessarily be able to trust in the good advice or the well wishes of others. Even though they seem optimistic, it may be the easy way out to take that information for granted. You know, the cat, at the end of the day, is thinking of their survival. You know, even my, even my babies. You know, Rambo and Persephone, I mean, they have minds of their own. They are not, they're not going to think about what I'm going to think before they do what they're going to do. Unless I have the water bottle. For your Earth Sector, when it comes to your work and your finances, we do have the Queen of Swords, upright. Very, very helpful card when it comes to your work and finances, because it does look like there may be somebody who has... Um, stepped up to your assistance to give you some kind of technical victory this week, whether it's a technical victory in a fight that you're having, or a, in a technicality on some kind of paperwork or some kind of procedure 
that you need some assistance in, you need some expert opinion in, you need to be able to take advantage of this or get this cleared or taken care of for your own good. And usually the Queen of Swords upright has the documents and the know-how, she's been there before. And with the Queen of Swords you can see often an air sign, an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or somebody with those qualities, but it's important to pay attention to where the Queen of Swords upright is also doing the, um, you know, is, is not necessarily doing the work for you, but she's simply giving you the map, okay? So just take, you know, but again, there is a technical, uh, a technicality that you can take advantage of for your own best interest. For your communications with air when it comes to your friends, your relatives, and the others in your life, we do have the Ten of Swords upright. And the Ten of Swords is interesting here because it does talk about a dramatic end happening to somebody else. Now, it doesn't mean like a violent death or anything, but it does indicate with the Ten of Swords that there is a harsh end coming to a harsh situation. Um, that's how I paraphrase it. Those of you in the class know that. Um, when I, the feeling I'm getting from this is that it's not happening to you, but it is actually happening um, regarding something that they are doing. All right, there's something that they are doing that's coming to an end. There's something that they have that's being taken away from them. There's something that is being taken off the table for this person. Now, what it is, is the death card. This looks to me like an ending that you've seen coming. Okay, this is no surprise to you. This may be something, I don't, now, when I say you saw it coming, I'm not saying you say this, you said they deserved it. But with, you know, with the death card, you may be thinking, you know what, I'm not, you know, it's like, I'm not surprised. You know, it makes sense. Because how you feel about it, or how it makes you feel, is the justice card up, right? So on some level, objectively, you're saying, yeah, that was going to happen. It is kind of an I told you so kind of moment. It does look tragic. Don't forget to give this person your empathy. But with the Justice card upright, it does look like something... It, it does look like a hole they dug themselves. And it may be, you know, the, the, whatever it is is coming home to roost. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Chariot card reversed. And with the Chariot card reversed, we do need to pay attention. Um, it does look like a lot of you Scorpio people need to pay attention to where we may have um, too bad, of, too bad of a habit of volunteering ourselves this week to be of assistance. I'm kind of feeling an over-volunteering going on um, to the point where you're kind of, you know, you can't actually be able to, you can't actually handle a whole, a person's whole other life juggling their life on top of your life. Uh, the Chariot card reverse could indicate an issue with double booking, overcommitment, um, or again, not being able to actually be um, able to handle that many jobs all at the same time. And what you need to pay attention to this week with the Chariot card reverse is this can be avoided if we don't actually do that, okay? Because there may be something that you're already juggling right now that you need to downsize. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the High Priestess reversed. And the High Priestess reversed is indicating here, hey, you know, this week I would be very mindful of a friend who thinks they know what you want or what kind of relationship you should be in. Because um, this can often indicate a bad matchup happening. And I kind of feel like well, that's what's going on. We've got some kind of advice um, that we're not, they're not, we're not supposed to follow, that we didn't ask for, coming from somebody who does not really know what she's talking about. This could be a situation where there could be a setup we didn't ask for. Um, and no, it's not with a surprise good news kind of situation either. This is definitely something where this person is overstepping her bounds. Um, and the priestess reverse can indicate a male as well, but I'm holding a, a priestess, so I'm going to say, you know, she a lot. And this could also be a situation where we might be getting somebody actually kind of, again, overstepping her bounds when it comes to your relationships with your partner. Or perhaps even intruding a little bit in the way you handle your kids. And this week it may be important to kind of let this person understand when they need to back up. Because the High Priestess reversed it doesn't indicate this is a person making an intervention and helping us out for our own good. This is just somebody being a busybody. So that is your horoscope. Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.